That's not mine. Hi guys, Leaf from Old School Winter Cleans. Welcome back to the channel. We are today doing this nursery area and it's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> uh, we're not putting any chemical on this though today. Putting chemical on this, I don't think it's going to make any difference whatsoever. It's quite new. So just flip your hand. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, it's just a bit grubby. There's sand and, and stuff, but um, it's not stained like the other one is. So we're going to go on to the with a flat surface cleaner. Thanks again, Sean from Squeaky Clean Windows for the loan of the surface cleaner. So we're just going to surface clean over the whole lot. Like I say, we're not going to put any chemical on. Um, I'll see how it comes up. I can always spot clean certain areas, but if you look at this, it actually isn't that bad. Um, it, 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 it's quite new, to be honest. I don't think it's been down too many years. The the one we cleaned for them before was it's been down 13, 14 years. So um, I think a straight straight uh, jet wash, uh, surface clean jet wash, all the way over. Um, we'll go over the whole area with the surface cleaner first. Like I said, it's quite a big area. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll rinse rinse the whole section down and, and see how we go. We've got a little bit in here to do as well. Um, but like I say, it's, this looks quite sheltered from the elements anyway. It has that canopy above. Um, it's quite sheltered from the elements, so it's. I think this will clean up quite nice anyway. But uh, as I say, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, uh, the whole area is not, not actually that bad. So it's, um, it's not going to get any chemical treatments. I think you'll find most of this will just clean up quite nicely as is anyway, to be honest. Um, it'll just spruce it up nice. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the bin to fill up, which is the slowest part. Um, caretaker is going to come over in a bit and uh, open up for me so I can get another hose from a tap inside and then we'll uh, we'll have double the water in uh, they were about to have some repairs on this as you can see it's uh, split <coughs> but it's quite expensive to have the repairs done it's quite a big job apparently um, obviously here is quite bad so we'll have to be a little bit careful here <coughs> considering it hasn't been down as much um, but yeah it's quite a big area so uh, let's get set up and uh, they cracking. As you can see, it does actually need, it does need cleaning. Um, you can see there's a nice grime line there. Just there, you can see that line. I hope that's coming out on camera, but I'm pretty sure that is. <laughs> uh, that's nice and blue. So, I 
just going to turn the machine off. Um, bear with me one minute. This has to be the best piece of kit that I have ever bought. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I've done a lot more waffling and talking on this video than actual doing the work. I do apologise. But yeah, it's it's looking great. It really is. I'm actually quite shocked myself at uh, his round. I'm actually quite shocked at how clean that looks. Because, I, you know, as you're going along sometimes you don't actually realise, but... The more I've gone over, um, I mean, you can see from here, it, uh, it does need a really good clean. So um, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon um, and we will, uh, we will we'll, we'll finish off. Um, thanks for watching. That's all of part one. Um, comment in the, in the comment section below if uh, there's anything you want to know or you want to ask or you might say we don't like listening to you waffle on too much. We just want to watch you do some cleaning. Um, yeah, so again, massive shout out to three people. First one is Sean from Squeaky Clean Windows in Birmingham. I've mentioned him a few times, I know, but really good of him to lend me the surface cleaner and his X-Jet gun. Um, so I really appreciate that. Thank you, Sean. And Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning, because he's always there if ever I need him to ask for advice and stuff. Um, top bloke. Take a check out of his channel, even though he's already got 40,000 subscribers. He'll still take some more. And Nick from Prestige Exterior Cleaning. Again, Nick, uh, I think it was half 10, quarter to 11, and he was pinging me messages over, watch for this, watch for that, um, do this, don't do that, you know, um, which it's great. Um, and all the lads in the WhatsApp group, um, might as well give you all a shout out. We've got Joseph Purdy. I'm going to mention you first, Joe. Joseph Purdy. We've got John Bell. Uh, John Boy, we have Ross in Norfolk, we have Neil Mortimer, we have Neil Bovey, we have Lucas we're from L, I think it's LT Cleaning Lucas, uh, we also have Kenneth Taylor, the Avengers have a Hulk, we have a Kenneth Taylor, um, and we also have a Perry, Pesmindo, Pesmondo, it's not what we normally call him, but this is a family channel and we will not be swearing. So yeah, I think that's everybody in the WhatsApp group. Um, Owen Steve, I forgot about Steve, he doesn't always mention any uh, comment in the group. Uh, and Mal from Dumfries and Galloway. Um, there's quite a few in the WhatsApp group. Um, it is a bit of a select group. There's nothing special about us, but we, we've got a nice group of lads. Uh, we haven't got anybody that causes trouble or, you, do you know what I mean? Um, so we're kind of limited. It's, it's a bit of an exclusive club, to be honest. Oh yes, it's exclusive. Um, I don't know why I'm in it, but yeah, anyway, enough waffle from me, um, like I say, big shout out to them three lads that have helped me out, big shout out to the boys in the WhatsApp group, um, Aiden. I knew there was somebody else, sorry Aiden. he's our resident South African uh, window cleaner uh, in um, Las Vegas, as he calls it, in Gloucestershire. Um, I think that's everybody, if I've missed somebody, I'm so sorry, I'll mention you in part two, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and... Please keep supporting the channel. Really appreciate the love. 1,270 something, I think, subscribers. Really appreciate it. Um, I just don't know what to say, to be honest. It's, it's really nice that people want to watch my videos and listen to me waffle on about rubbish, to be honest, like I have now for five minutes and 15 seconds. Now. But anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Anybody that wants to know anything, just ask away. I always respond to the comments and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Right, guys, I've quite surprised myself actually because I've started turbo nozzling that. I went on with the surface cleaner first, which is somewhere down there. There it is. I went on with the surface cleaner first, but I found it was leaving stripes. I think that's possibly because I haven't put any hypo down, whereas I didn't get that when I put hypo down on the key stage two section. That's the proper terminology, by the way, key stage two. Um, <laughs> but I have to admit that I think it's coming up quite nice. I went over that with the surface cleaner, that red circle, um, and it didn't clean up as well, but I've just gone over it with the turbo nozzle and it's cleaned up really well. If I just 
ground it's cleaned up very nice indeed has as the orangey pinky one but I had to be very careful with that because it's quite delicate um, and also if I come over here you can see that obviously sort of where's my finger from there across you can see it's been cleaned and that side hasn't um, it actually is looking much better and I'm noticing that when I'm blasting if I go to my grime line here Ben Flawless works a grime line you can see where I've gone hopefully that's coming out on camera you can see right up on that line there that that is actually my grime line um, and the same over here you can see I've actually gone just hopefully that's coming out on camera <coughs> Um, but it's actually cleaning up really nice. Um, even the whites are coming up quite nice on the, the, the little track here. Uh, those, those two have been done. Those two and that one. And obviously the rest I haven't got onto yet. I'm going to start working my way around this way now. But we are running out of time. It's 20 to 4 and obviously it's, uh, it's 20 to 4. And obviously the caretaker is going to want to go home. So... I think I'm going to come back tomorrow, so um, I've done one, I've probably done two full days here. Um, as I said, I've not charged them, but it's, it's, not, it's not about the money all the time, is it? Um, this blue section here, that's going to get turbo nozzled. I might do that next, actually. Um, it started leaking again um, on the end. I haven't changed it yet. Um, I just want to crack on and get as much done as I can. And then when I get home, I'll take that off, PTFE tape it. And, um, and retighten it back up. Uh, there's also a few sections over there that I've cleaned with the, with the flat surface cleaner, like the green was done with a flat surface cleaner, as was the gold. Where is it? There it is, the gold. It's weird because I'm, I'm actually pointing over there, look, and it's, it's not over there, it's actually I'm pointing at it now and on the camera it's not coming out uh, so yeah down in this section let me just flip it around sorry for throwing you about if you've just had your tea <laughs> that section obviously we, we did with the surface cleaner and that, that really bright blue section there we did um, this round here we're going to do as well uh, we'll get all this cleaned up this should come up really nice and blue uh, we'll move everything out but like I say I'm going to come back tomorrow because I can't expect the, the caretaker to stay here till 6 o'clock seven o'clock which is probably what I'd need um, there's quite a bit of sand and stuff down here but I'm gonna have a sweep up of here first tomorrow um, we'll move some of these bits and pieces uh, but yeah it's, it's cleaning up actually really nice I think it will look really good when it's done um, it's, we, we say it a lot don't we we didn't look that clean until you started cleaning it and then you start cleaning it and uh, hopefully you can see there's a bit of a grime line where's my finger I'm not really good at this anymore there's a grime line just there so you can see where I've gone to um, so we'll come back tomorrow and we'll we'll have a look and see how it's dried overnight um, and, and we'll just carry on uh, we'll just carry on uh, with the turbo nozzle um, it seems to be doing a really good job and uh, I think it'll look really nice um, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, I might do this in two parts again as well. Just trying to make extra videos. Uh, yeah, I might do this in two parts as well. I might use this as a part one. Um, and then tomorrow for part two. Uh, I'm just going to do some footage now, which I'm not sure if I've put in before or if I'm going to put in after, where I'm just going to turbo nozzle those bits that I've gone over with the surface cleaner. Um, I might do a picture in picture video with that, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I was actually in two minds whether to not video this at all, to be honest. But it's uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm quite pleased actually. It's, uh, it's cleaning up quite nice. So yeah, so I'm just going to tickle these bits off. Um, I've had no issue with the water on the nursery side. The nursery side tap is like a rocket. It's filling my bin so quick. Uh, it's filling the bin so quick, I could just carry on jetting and jetting and jetting as much as I want. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm sure, get set up on uh, on here. Uh, we're gonna, just going to turbo nozzle that. Uh, we're going to turbo nozzle that one and the other couple that I did. Um, and just see if we get much of a difference, to be honest. But uh, we'll see how we go. 
Hello and welcome back. I was going to do two parts for this nursery, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put one big long video on. We're all done. Hasn't come up as great as I wanted, to be honest. I've been chatting to Nick from Prestige and he said, you know, I'm being a bit harsh on myself, to be honest. I've got, I mean, it's come up quite nice, to be fair. Um, my machine's not really, it's powerful enough, but it's just to turn you around. Blue section is a little bit patchy. Um, <coughs> I could probably do with some chemical. These sections have cleaned up really nice. The green, the blues popping. It's just a few little marks here and there. You can just see the darker shaded parts. There's a few marks here and there, but it needs a really good rinse down. But the, the water pressure has gone really bad today. The reds come up nice. I mean, that, that looks pink to me, but it's orange. The greens come up nice. Um, so, and the, the tracks come up nice and bright as well. So, you know, it's, it's not... Um, it's not a complete disaster. Uh, I'm probably just being a little bit hard on myself. Um, you can see there's a bit of a grime line there, but the, the caretaker's going to come in when it's all dry and he's going to he's got to blow everything down anyway, because obviously from the weeping willow there's bits all over there. So um, the one thing I will say is this is extremely hard work. Um, it's, it's not so much physically demanding; it's just how long it takes to do. He's, he's demanding. Um, I've spent three days here now, um, and I've donated my time to the school. Um, but I've, I've got it. You know, I've, I've got a business to run. Unfortunately, I've got to carry on. Um, but it, uh, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? You know, it's not. It's not too bad. Um, can't hold the phone. I've left myself a stick in the van. But yeah, you know, it's it's cleaned up lovely. And it's a lot better than it was. Um, yeah, Nick, Nick from Prestige said I'm being a bit hard on myself because. Scroll you around, it's, uh, it's a lot better than it was, and it was a little bit slippy in places actually, especially over in the one corner where. Um, if I just turn you back around, sorry, you see there's a bit of water pooling there, and in that corner by the shed, there was a little bit of water pooling. Um, but apart from that, um, that they were the only bits that were a little bit slippy. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks again for the support on the channel. Uh, do one more quick spin round. I quite like the track actually, it looks quite nice doesn't it? So yeah, um, like I say thanks for watching, I've washed all that down so I might have a cheeky little play on that before I go home, because I'm a big kid. Um, but yeah, it, it really is hard going and it's just rinse, rinse, blast, rinse. Um, there's a few sections here that probably need some chemical, uh, but it's it's been down 10 years and it's never ever been cleaned so there's 10 years of grime on this and with this being such a porous surface 10 years of grime is a lot of grime to soak in um, for those of you that watched my last video of the <coughs> the other section we did um, that was that was bad um, when I'm using the surface cleaner you can see the dirty water pooling that much and you've got to remember I'd already turbo nozzled hypoed and rinsed that once so for that much dirt to still come out after that just shows how much grime these these do hold on to um in saying that i have got one to go and quote in the morning but um i actually didn't realize how big this is this is uh, 640 square meters so it's, it's a big old area to do um the one the other side's 160 square meters uh, so they're, they're nice big areas. I didn't realise this was as big to be honest. I kind of, I looked, had a peek through the fence in the corner and thought, oh, it's only this, this little sort of this section here. And then I come out and all oh, that was there. <laughs> um, so, but it's it's all good. It's it's been a good learning experience for me as well, and it's it's been good to get hands on job, hands on experience as well doing the job. So um, yeah, so thanks again for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks very much.